All right, so here's our review. Um, first, you want to identify what's the easiest way to solve. So with these, I would say the easiest way to solve is using substitution. All right, so what we would do with this, so we're just going to replace this y value with that equation. So now we have x plus 2 equals 2x minus 2. And now we just solve it. So we're going to uh, subtract 2 from both sides and also minus a 2x from both sides. So that cancels the negative uh, 2x there, that cancels the 2 there. We have x minus 2x is negative x equals negative 4, so that means x equals 4. So then we need to get our um, y value, so we plug that into either one of the equations. So y equals 4 plus 2, so y equals 6. Check it in the other equation, 2 times 4 minus 6, I mean minus 2 equals 6, so that works. So these are this is our answer. Or you can write it as an ordered pair. That works as well. So here, we have y already solved for, so we're going to take this and plug that in for y in the other equation. So we have 4x, instead of plus 3 times y, now it's 3 times this. We're replacing that. So 5x minus 8 equals 33. Now, all we do is just follow our regular method for sol solving an equation like this. So we're going to distribute first, and we'll solve for x. So we get this. So I would like to add 24 to both sides. And make sure you distribute to both here. It's a common mistake to not do that. Uh, so we combine like terms here, and we have 19x equals um, 57. So divide both by 19, and we get x equals 3. So then we plug that into either one. It's easier to plug it into the top one because y is already solved for. So we have y equals 5 times x, which is 3, minus uh, 8, which gives us 15 minus 8, which gives us a 7. So y equals 7. Check that in your other equation. So it gives us 4 times the x plus 3 times the y equals uh, 12 plus 21 equals 33. So it works. We did it right.